goes, well. <laughs> there it is. I like that. It just goes, well. What? Right-o. Yes. More work. Okay. So I'm human. It's my favourite map. Death now. And um, it's actually going to be quite useful for the strategy that I'm going to be employing. At least I hope so. There is a goblin laboratory here somewhere. Yes, there is. So let's get things building. Not fast building at the moment because I'm still going to need the wood to expand. So there's not really much point rushing that archmage out just yet. And yes, it's going to be an archmage. That's uh, five on the mine. Should have enough time to have a little read of the strategy, hopefully. Okay. Let's see. So, Torchy005. This is his strategy, and I'm going to do it in a Scottish accent. So, I'll make sure I'm okay on that. Pick human, a ghoul archmage, beast master, and dark ranger, and sapling harass as much as possible. Go whatever units you like. If you feel like going mad with summons, make the strat summon mercs only. You can also switch out some of the heroes if you like. Uh, the general point of this strategy is to begin harassing. Uh, retreat your heroes and harass another base while your summons do the work. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, Dini. So, yes, starting off with the Archmage Footman and then later on Beastmaster and Dart Ranger. And a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of harass. Perhaps some Sorks or Casters would be quite cool. Slow the enemy down, just be a nuisance. I don't know. We have got a neutral tavern here. We have got a Goblin Laboratory. And this is a couple of bases right here, which will be pretty vulnerable to um, Zeppelin harass. So, technically, whilst I do dislike this map ever so greatly, it's not too bad. For what I'm trying to do here, anyway. Let's see if I can pull this cheeky guy back. Oh, there goes the lag. Is the animation going to go off? Yes, it does. Alright, that's about as smooth as I can get that going off. So I'm actually quite happy with that. I think that's a nice and smooth start. don't think I need any more militia, actually, thinking about it. Because I'm going to be going for Shredder. Which I will. Oi! I made him attack that footman there. Um, water Elemental. I definitely shouldn't have lost that. That was a bit BS. That was an unfair loss there. Because I definitely microed that correctly. Shame the mobs are a little bit BS. Let's pull these rack. Back, 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 back. Still quite a while before I can get um a frisky um shredder, so I'm I'm quite ahead of it actually. This map is pretty useful for what's going on right now. It's this been quite a good flow. Can't argue too much with um the, the pace which with which has been set. I'm gonna take one of these fellas off just to build a farm here so I can definitely get that shredder. Gonna need to return back to base. Hopefully this will go up. I can get a bit of healing going on. I've still got an, uh, a bit of wood coming in here and there. Don't really want any more peasants. This is about as fast as you can do things without stopping, but I'm gonna have to stop at some point. There's gonna have to be some sort of slow down point. There goes the expansion, so that's up already. Shredder's still there, not yet. Let's get clarity pots and heals. Oh. Alrighty. Can afford to get another footman for the time being. Get one of these water elementals out because it's level 3 now. That's pretty neat. There's still things left to creep. So that's cool. I might just let him take the hit. He's going to take um, 
Unfortunately, yeah. A nice battering from the gold. No, wouldn't. Oh, no, maybe not, actually. If I start this off. I'm hoping he uses his purge. There we go. He's going to use his purge. I might still suffer a purge, but it's done now. At least one of them's out of the way. Let's get the tech going. Footman's still coming out. And then um, a Shredder very shortly afterwards, providing wood still continues to flow. Pretty good items here. I'm in a position here. I'll be very inclined to creep this, heal up a little bit, and then go attack my enemy. You need to come over here to fill that up into five. Yeah, this is good. Smooth. Orange is going there, so I'm actually going to go here instead. And that leads me closer towards my enemy. Just a little bit more wood. Then Shredder comes out. I've got all the resources for it. Oh, it looks like Blue's coming back. See, I don't know. Then I don't know that. Try to keep my weaker footman back. I want to distribute the amount of damage I'm taking here. If I can. That way I can get the most out of my healing scroll. Goblin Shredder time. Let's get a little uh, lumber mill for him. And then a blacksmith afterwards. Ooh. Those footmen want to die. Gonna pull those back. Get another little purge going on that water elemental. But oh, maybe not actually. They're out of mana. That's pretty handy. And then we'll get a lovely little scroll of regeneration going as soon as he's definitely dead. Boom, boom, boom. Hopefully by the time I get to my... Oh, what can I pick up here? An extra couple of units to accompany me in a nice little harass attack. Maybe Blue wants to come and join the party. He hasn't got much, so it really doesn't matter whether he decides to join me or not. Did you say any units? Any particular units? I'm not sure. Ah, nah, just pretty much whatever I like, I guess. It's giving me gold for some reason. That's generous. Not really necessary, but I'm more than on top of it. Did I block off this base? Ah, I see. Okay. That's two of them right there. That's a... Oh, the demon hunter's a bit suicidal. That isn't even a summon elemental. Woo. So what have we got here? Got an expansion? No? Ah, uh, you're, you're not spoiling me. I was hoping you'd have an expansion for me to destroy. Now I'm going to have to attack you in your own base. That's not good for me. May as well get defend. And I'll go check out this uh, base over here. Tech is almost complete. Be good to send a footman back for that. Get a Beastmaster. And then tech up straight away again. Get over there. Oh, there's the expansion. Hello, expansion. How are you? Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Tech up again. Mm, should I go mass griffins? It'll be easier for me in the long run. Oh, my days. How we doing? Oh, he's got the buyers. And they're not in tier 3 mode, so that's a bit unfortunate for you. Oh, he's just starting to put the heels down, so I'm going to run away a little bit. Although blue is behind me, so that's not bad. But I just want to get a reposition here, because this is kind of nasty, unit-wise. Right, try to pick up the bed. Oh, and tier 1 purple are very focused on me. Definitely not a good idea to stay in this fight for long. So I'm just going to run up, waste some time, and then make my way towards the Griffins. Because I like the Griffins. And then I've got to remember to pick up a Beastmaster at some point. Hmm. I might be Dragonhawks, actually, to help support me with my harass. Ugh. I think this is... This is a slight problem with this map, is... You are a bit... The pathways to which... How you play the map are a little bit linear. It doesn't give you much flexibility. It's like, once I start running that way, I'm screwed. There's not any other sort of extra pathways and such that I can ninja take and uh, sneak out or anything like that. I am just screwed. So I have to full on get up. Uh, let's get saplings, get those coming up. Get ready for the tier three. It's not quite there yet, but be ready for it. Mass dragon hawks will do the trick nicely, I think. That'd be pretty funny. I could try putting down some towers as well for some sort of weird harass style. Let's go meet up in the middle. Try to pick up a... Um, what do we call it? Hang on. I don't want too many actually. 
I want to stay underneath food cap even though I'm doing stupidly well for resources because in a very short while I'm going to go massively into like 100 100 food dragon hawks. Tier 3 should be any moment. So I can pick up that third hero, which is the Dark Ranger, and start my harass. But I just want to hotkey things up again if I have a chance. Unfortunately for Blue, he's getting annoyed, but this is my time to shine pretty much and harass. Meanwhile, now getting very close to the point where I'm just going to go stupidly high on Dragon Horks. Oh, here we go. Unfortunately, it's a Night Elf, so I'm not going to get much from the summons for the Dark Ranger, but I can definitely do a bit of harass here. As you can see, a lot of free units to pick off here. Someone's TPing out in, so I'll see if I can get out. Oh. Like you say, get out. I can't really leave any units there because they're just going to be free experience. And now it's Master Dragon Hawks time. Stupidly high on the Dragon Hawks. Ah, uh, it's too late for your uh, towers, mate. Let's see if we can get the Dark Ranger getting some skeletons out. Oh, he's TPing right in there. Back down to purple, I guess. Meanwhile, Dragon Hawks are messing up nicely. Let's see if purple's still here, whether he's forgotten. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh. Oh no, he's still here, sort of. Be nice to bring down the ge Demon Hunter, but I don't think I'm going to get the opportunity. Well, maybe I will. He's TPing out, so I'm going to get back into my Zeppelin and run away. If you want to pick him up, come on. What the hell are you doing, man? I know he was stunned, so he couldn't be picked up at that moment, but come on. I did actually pick him up before the stun went off, but apparently not. I can't go to yellow because he's now got those towers up. I dare say I've wasted quite a bit of their time and resources here just going back and forth. So your strategy is working quite nicely, particularly for this map. I think I'm going to have to take a little bit longer and go up to the top. I haven't got much out of it personally, but team-wise I think it's worked very strong because um, I've bought a hell of a lot of time for my allies and I've wasted a hell of a lot of resources for my enemy. But I haven't unfortunately been in the position where I can just leave summons or get too much experience. Towers, lots and lots of towers. There's a good lad. Almost a dead Zeppelin already, just from trying to scout that. Jeez. Alright, I'm going to take a real risk it for a biscuit move. I'm obviously not going to drop down there. Tempting though it might be, these towers are still in range to pretty much kill anything that's going to hang at the back. If I had Blizzard, I would, but I don't. So I'm pretty much going to sacrifice to the Zeppelin, hope that I don't get caught by a bat or something, and try to harass inside of here, which should be a human base. Which means that there could be potential that he hasn't bothered to build towers in his own base. And I could be able to get some peasants. Obviously they'll probably TP back pretty quickly. But I might be able to pick something off here, hopefully. I'll be cheeky and put down some towers, but I don't think they're going to do anything. It's just more for the lols. And look. Oh, I managed to get him out of that position, just by building another tower. And here comes the TP. Uh, I think I just TP out, actually. Shit! Oh, thank goodness, I do actually have a TP, but it's on the Beastmaster. I looked at my Archmage, I was like, oh, he doesn't have a TP! Oh my days! Look at them, they're all coming back here. This is super harass. Meanwhile, as you can see, because of the economy I have, I've got almost four upgrades on all of these Dragon Hawks, so it's actually working very nicely. I know what I should have done there, actually. I should have just bought this Staff of Sanctuary. That way I can heal him up quicker, actually. Boom. I actually still have a couple of units left as well. I didn't really lose much at all there. That's pretty much what I had near the start of the game. So not too shabby. We're going to want more clarity pods, just because we can. Maybe throw down a mechanical critter, so I know what's going on. I imagine my allies are pretty strong at this point, because we've had almost no 
fret. At least I've been doing quite a lot, as you can see. Now he does have a bit of anti-air, but I do have a lot of Dragon Hawks, so we'll see who comes out on top there. That's a lot of anti-air, but I'm going to really focus those headhunters. He's definitely getting out of that. Not worthwhile him staying in that. Did a little bit of damage, not bad for him. Now, I'm going to TP up here, but Orange probably TP out. I may as well give it a go though. He's going to be encouraged to get out, but I do have so many Dragon Hawks. Maybe I can pick off one or two Griffins when I TP in. Yeah, it makes a little bit of a difference. I should have um, Cloud. Yes, I do. There's only one more upgrade to go for. Just need a little bit of gold for that. Wood is more than adequate. So, pull him back to base. Unfortunately, I need a little bit of resources. Oh. That's handy. It's almost like he heard me. I think we've got some anti-air over here. Blue's having fun over there with tanks, look at that! Okay, those tanks are going to go pretty far. So they're going to be forced to deal with that. I don't think Teal's got quite enough to fight it off. He'll be able to hold his own, but he's still going to lose a chunk of his base, so it might encourage more than, or at least one of them, to come back to base. Shame they don't have many up armor upgrades. Shame the enemy know that I'm here because of that, unless it's one of ours. <gasps> Almost got all of those. Crap. Enemies are coming in now, but I'll try to bring out bring down as many of these uh, griffins as I can before I have to TP out. I'm getting out now. I know my allies are coming, but I don't want to stay there in that position. I probably didn't need to in hindsight after seeing the situation, but I did kind of panic TP there a little bit. I knew that I was doing the damage I needed to do, which was pretty much take out those griffins, and that was my job done. But I could have stayed there. Needless to say, I think my uh, allies can probably do a fairly good job of picking off the rest here. <laughs> They're going to get a lot of experience for that. They've got a bit of experience though. Level 5 Tauren Chieftain. Or oh, more TPing in. I'm, I would say back to the guys at top, but I think they can hold it. So it's a good opportunity for me and Blue now to go re-harass bottom. And this should pretty much be a sealed deal at this point in the game. We clearly do have the advantage on our enemies. We can either finish off teal or purple, it really doesn't matter which one. Ivor's pretty much going to die. does look like they've got superiority over this situation, but the towers are going a bit to town, so unfortunately he only has the corrosive breath, so he can't bring those, but they need to bring those towers down, and we, they can stay there and fight it, but they're not super powerful compared to the enemy, but they are definitely um, in a more powerful position. It screwed me over when I tried to um, grab the griffins earlier because in my hotkey group I have two footmen and they basically take precedence so I was like trying to clap um, in snare and I was like oh that's why you've got to tab and then move on so I forgot about the footman being in there so I'm gonna get rid of those right now that way as soon as I want to tab or as soon as I want to ensnare with my hawks I can do so without any interruptions <laughs> Free nil on those tanks, so buildings don't last very long. This looks quite similar actually to my Hawk Squawk game, but it's not exactly the same thing. It was more about harass, and uh, I think that really came through at the start of the game. Didn't quite get to do what you wanted though. 
which is essentially leave her, um, units behind. But the enemies were very quick to sort of try and defend their allies, so that's why the units couldn't be left behind, because otherwise I'd just be feeding them experience. Hmm, Griffin's up there. Yellow's over there. I'd be tempted to TP over. Shouldn't really need to TP though if we are harassing here, but it is tempting because I've got very strong counter units. But that is pretty much the yeah, entire army, so probably not the greatest idea to necessarily TP in on that. Ah, get that final upgrade. And then sit in 100, 100 food. Pretty nice. More and more summons coming out. If only I could click on that Quill Beast. Oh. <laughs> now that works very well. You can't quite clearly see it, but it's a mass ensnare of air units and then tanks underneath get free range to completely and utterly obliterate their opponents. Okay, let's TP in. Oh, that is a beautiful little base there. Look at that. Can TP into this lovely little spot here. Have the easiest time in the world. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Needless to say, uh, I think they're screwed. I'm going to try and TP over there. Well, there it is. I think that's how it goes. Haggis! I. I. Alrighty, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, then if you want to see some more, you can subscribe. If you just enjoyed the video, you like the content, then like the video, please. And I'll see you later. Troll, 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 troll. I used to be a troll rag. Troll, 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 troll. Oh, cool. I'm not, I ain't got time. I was in um, one of the top guns. Do you know Method? Method, 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 Method. Troll, Method, Troll, Method. Oh my god, god, god. Oh my god, oh my god. This sounds pretty good.